So I'm breaking down the steps of data analysis now, and I will take you through each of the steps. The first step is the objective. So for example, you are in a company and you are a data analyst and now you got a work to do. So your work is to find whether there's a relationship between product discount and the reviews which are given by the customers. So if you increase the discount price or decrease the discount price, will the customer review change, right? This is your objective. Um, once you receive this objective, your first step, it should be understanding the data. So here, understanding the data means you have already um, got your data and you already have sheets, columns, um, databases and everything at one place, right? And here at this step, the second step, you would like, you would like to know that uh, what are various sources you have to answer this question. So basically at this step, you should have data from various sources to answer your questions. You must spend some time in understanding the meaning of this data. In example, in our example, um, it could be the name of the product, um, the product category, the reviews, the review language, um, the region of the customer. Uh, maybe you are new to this role and you might want to know more about these products and product category. Data cleaning and transformation. 50% to 80% of your time should be spent here. Cleaning values of the column, changing data types, such as from decimals to whole numbers, making calculation column, such as number of customers by region, or even you can create your own table here. Next is model planning. So what are you going to build? Maybe make a prototype at this point and check with your team before spending more time. Um, as you might in future need some more data or resources while actually building the model. So prototypes can be on paper, um, a presentation, or you can use one of these softwares. Finally, my favorite part, which is model building. As a data analyst, you probably will be making charts and dashboards or reports. These are your um, models. Um, so at this model building point, you would like to show numbers and charts which your audience would like to, uh, would like to see. Um, probably you will show charts on customer review, um, product and customer, specific, uh, customer specification as we have taken our example. Um, finally, uh, communication of the results. This is the step where you present your chart, um, dashboard or report to your team. Remember your chart should be easy for audience and they should be accurate. And finally, operationalizing. Um, use your chart or results in the business world. Um, the findings of your model should now be used into the into your business. Um, so how many times you would like to repeat this process could all can also be evaluated here. For example, you want to do the same process after every three months or maybe next year again to find different analysis. Um, in our example, you can show that yes, the category of electronics um, discount actually make review positive. So what are the terms which are used in data analysis? Uh, these are the terms which you will hear a lot when you would be doing data analysis. Um, the first one is data mining. Basically getting data from a source uh, is called data mining. Sources could be a website, Excel sheets, IoT devices, or software like CRM or ERP. Second is transforming. Converting data from raw to a process data is called data transformation. For example, editing URLs, sentences to Word, or adding new columns such as calculation or IDs. Data visualization. Converting data into charts using softwares like Tableau, Excel, Power BI, SAS Analytics, IBM Analytics, Google Studio, Looker Click, uh, is called data visualization. Reporting. Combining data visualization into a dashboard which answer 
questions to your seniors, your boss, your colleagues, your team, or any type of audience is called reporting. So what are the similar roles as data analysis? Um, while applying for a job, you might want to look for these terms also. Uh, let me go through these terms once. Uh, this is called a digital analyst. Next is marketing data analyst, which is a combination of marketing person plus data analyst. So the data which you will get to analyze here will be from marketing. So it could be Google Analytics, um, SEO, um, Google AdWords, Facebook, or maybe um, offline marketing, mobile apps marketing. Um, if this excites you, then maybe yes, marketing data analyst could be your target. Next is sales data analyst. Uh, sales data analyst is a combination of sales plus data analyst. So here you will get data from CRM, um, from your uh, leads, from cold callings, from emails, um, and maybe from other sources uh, which you're selling. Uh, if, if you are selling from a store, then you will get data from your store um, and so on. Next is operational data analyst. Um, so what type of operations you would be doing? You might be into maintenance, you might be into transportation, and so you will get the similar data and you will be analyzing this data. If this excites you, then maybe operational data, data analyst is, is something you might wanna uh, search more on internet. Next is customer data analyst, uh, then the business analyst. Business analyst is very common. Um, uh, I would like to say that uh, not every data, not every business analyst is a data analyst, but every data analyst has to be a business analyst. Uh, every data analyst needs to see and find the key things which are important for this business. The data uh, which can change and which can make a positive change on the business. Um, next is product analyst. So product analyst could be a mobile app product analyst, an e-commerce product analyst, um, or, or maybe any other digital platform analyst where you will get data about your product and you want to optimize it and make it um, a better version uh, for your customers. Supply chain data analyst, uh, analyzing cost and prices of transportation, warehousing, um, pallets, and many more. Um, and it's growing. So there are everyday uh, new um, um, jobs opening in this sector. Um, now, even if you like data analysts and you cover this data analyst, um, you become an expert of data analysts, maybe you wanna learn more about data engineering, data science, or maybe business intelligence, which actually uh, all of these fields have common is the data. And uh, there are more similarities in these roles like cleaning the data, transforming the data, um, analyzing the data, and finding key insights in the data. 